Show me a stream. Show me a stream. What do we got? Does this work? Hello? Do we have any video? We have audio. I don't have speakers in this computer. I would just rely on you all to tell me if I have audio. Hopefully I do. Hey, everybody. Oh, one second. I think I've got this a little turned up over here. Let's just make sure. Test. Ah, okay. That's a little bit high on the gain reduction. Calf, DS or shit. Let's see. Test. Hello, my name is Lewis. Okay, that's a little bit high on the gain there, so we're just going to knock off the gain a little bit. You no, know, I'd probably do it on this thing, actually. This is uh, probably set a little high. I haven't set this thing up. At all. Oh, yeah, audio. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that shit shouldn't be set to zero. That's insane. Okay, maybe minus, probably should be minus 18, honestly. Test. Hello. Okay, we've got audio. We have audio. We have audio. People can hear. People can hear. One moment and we'll get started with today's repair video. That's right. One of you fucks was complaining. All this, whoa, whoa. like literally posting a bunch of little sad emojis, like a fucking slip not listening teenager that was about to off himself or something. Yeah, there were all these kids in my high school that listened to Slip. I, I'm not, I'm, this isn't even a meme. Like there's, there's a song from Slipknot about slitting your wrists. Like there's, I don't know. Even when I was a kid, there was absolute, you know, th th there was music that I would not exactly want to play for my kids at the time. Anyway, uh, all right. So today, what we're going to be doing, since people have been asking, where's the repair video? Why don't you fix things anymore? Here, I have a remote to a vibrating bed frame. Now, you may be asking, Lewis, you own your car, you own your house, you have a business. Why are you fixing a remote control? Um, again, uh, I, I, do I want to wait on hold for like half an hour to an hour? to get another one of these, no. And do I want to read the, again, reading through a 78 page instru uh, re reading through a 78 page schematic and memorizing every single net name with autistic precision detail? Absolutely. Reading a two page manual? Fuck that. That's what we call ADD. Uh, in, in all seriousness, I, I despise instruction manuals. I do not want to figure out where I go to get a new remote. I do not want to wait on hold. I do not want to ask a question. I don't want to navigate some frustrating FAQ. And I sure as shit don't want to read a manual to figure out how the sync and pair button work. This has gone through my, my laundry because I am a fucking idiot. And as a result of going through my laundry because it was in the bed sheets and I didn't like, I just kind of threw the bed sheets and the blankets and everything all in there at once. It, it, it kind of has, uh, it, it has the whole water damage thing going on. So I'm going to pop this thing open because again, why would I read a two page manual when I can drive to my shop at six in the morning to fix a remote. That's a much better use of my time. Uh, I actually have to, an airplane to catch soon, so I literally have nothing better to do. Had to drop something off for Chris. So the first thing is, how do I open this shit? I uh, know really, like, how do you, I've never opened a remote control before. How do you open this shit? Let's see. Uh, okay, I took the screw out. You fucking, wait, do the jerry rig everything? The bend test? We're going to do the bend test, I guess. Okay. There we go. Jerry, everything's a cool dude. I got to balance the white balance on. This is kind of silly. The other camera's all blue. This one's all orange. It's freaking silly. Do you have auto? Does auto work on this piece of shit? Auto. Okay. That's kind of better. Wait, no, that's yeah. Oh my God. I have liver damage now. Okay. Never mind. One moment. Let's just get this. This white balance is triggering the shit out of me. Uh, custom. Oh, no, that's not. Oh, when you hit OK, it doesn't take you back to where you can adjust it. That's actually cruel. Wherever did this user interface is? OK, a little bit less jaundice, I think. Let's see, where do I have a healthy liver? Oh, never mind, it's a little too blue. Eh, fuck it, that'll do. OK, so here's what we're going to do. Got to get this thing off. Also, I feel like the, this thing probably comes off over here. Like, you see where there's... She has a little damn it. This white balance. Why am I so OCD with the white balance, man? I should just let it go. Like Adina Menzel would say. Okay. Uh, take this. Before I clip the rest of it off, I kind of wonder if there's a screw hiding under here. There's only one way to find out, you know? Only one way to find out. Complete dickheads will hide screws under these, but it doesn't look like they're, they did. Like, remember what I've, Apple did with the uh, iPhone 4? I forget if it was the CDMA or the GSM version of the iPhone 4. In the upper left corner, there was this... Essentially, you had a board that was dark in color, and then you had a black piece of tape on a dark board so that people would not realize it was there. And after not realizing it was there, they'd rip the board up. It's just like, I don't know, it's, it's one of like the Apple engineer's way of just reminding you that they hate you. Okay, so it looks like there should be... There's something probably holding this together in the middle. 
So we got to figure out what that is. I do not see a screw under this sticker. This is a warning sticker, so f kids can be crushed in a moving bed. Fuck that. I don't have any children. Uh, next up, that's, I guess that's the closest we get to abortion laws here in Texas. Uh, Kielsen, remote control, this uh, 2x battery, serial number. Fuck that. Don't care about any of that. So I, I think that this is going to slide off in some way. I just don't know how yet because I need to, yeah, I don't want to bend this too far and break the shit out of it. Uh, one way to find out. Let's see. Hmm. I should get a pry tool, but I don't know if I have one because I haven't used it. Oh, here we go. Okay, literally right as I was uh, looking for a pry tool, it finally came off a little bit. Uh, I haven't had a pry tool since like the BlackBerry Curve 8330 days. Anybody remember the BlackBerry Curve 8330? You know, you use a little pry tool to open it. It had a little, you know, the curves and shit. And actually, I got this thing over here. Let's try this shit. I don't even know where this came from. I know this ain't mine. I missed this thing. We got the spatula at some point because this wasn't really doing it once the A1278s came out. Like these, all these, all this little pry tool shit just, it stopped working around 2008 when the unibodies came out. And God forbid you try to use this with a MacBook Air bezel. Like this is not going to work. You need one of those Utrecht Art Supply Store uh, spatulas that I was using in those old MacBook Air videos from 2013 and the Retina videos from 2013, 2012. Okay, so this went through the laundry. So we got that piece off. I'm going to take the PC board out. And we're going to see if we can figure out what is fucked up on this thing because this was plugged in for quite a while with some liquid damage. And then we're going to see if once that's done, to be clear, my bed is not at the store. This is not like this is not some Harvey Weinstein shit. I do not have a bed at my shop. My bed is at home. So uh, I can't test this here. Uh, uh, but what I imagine could happen is I'm going to see if I can get any of these LEDs to light up when I start using it because they weren't working before. So the first thing we have to do to get this, oh my God, my whole fucking setup is destroyed. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I got, I, I, this is where, what Mark uses when he visits. I'm, I'm kind of like retired management now. P Pathway Technologies meets E-Tech Management. Anybody see that episode of Dilbert? Pathway Technologies meets E-Tech Management. Pathetic Management. That's me. Uh, but yeah, no, like, oh, like the screw that keeps this from moving is gone. Ah, my whole setup is f absolutely fucked. Mark, what the f Mother f Nice. Oh my god, you mother... Oh, I like Mark. He's a good dude. Mark is a good dude. When you need a friend, Mark is a good dude. When you need somebody to not fucking destroy your microscope light, melt your goddamn keyboard, take, oh, take your screw. Why would you take my screw, Mark? Why? Why? If you wanted a screw, I would have given it to you. No, in all seriousness, like, why? Why? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, the white balance on everything is killing me. You can really tell that I haven't been here in a long time. When is the last time I did a repair? Probably when Obama was president. Man, it really does feel like it was that long ago. Okay, so the this light kind of sucks. So Mark fucked up my light. I replaced it. Even with the HDR on, this thing is kind of kind of shit. Uh, may I may also be using the wrong power supply. Okay, let's see. We're going to raise up the brightness a little here. Okay, that looks good. So we're looking for... The first thing you see here is you can see... A lot of green corrosion over here. There's green corrosion there, green corrosion there. The corrosion that I think is killing it, though, is going to be this over here because that stuff is mildly nasty on the legs, but here you have something that's really nasty on the sides. So I'm probably going to use some Flux, and we're not using Amtec anymore, and I'm going to be doing a video on why that is soon. They've been engaging in law, what I like to call lawfare against companies that were uh, filling a market niche that they were no longer filling. So uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the smell... So I didn't notice this because I have um, an air filter. So again, I, I try to be civilized to my people. Like you may notice on every desk over here, we have a Hacko FA430 fume extractor. So none of my employees are doing soldering without having this at their desk. Uh, or if they do, that's on them. Like the, everybody here has a $700 fume extractor at their desk. So I have no idea how flux smells because I don't want to inhale this shit. I paid, for all, I paid all this money for this stuff, so I'm never inhaling flux. And one of the things that, is, um, that I, people have been telling me is that the smell of their flux changed. And apparently the formulation changed. So again, like from what I'm, I'm estimating, like the NC559V2TF is actually NC559ASM. Uh, and it's because I don't uh, smell my flux because, you know, there's many other better things to smell in the world than, you know, fucking soldering equipment. I did not know that they changed the formulation. I'm the last person to figure this out. Now, apparently this company Amtec Direct 
decided to, okay, we are going to make Amtec Flux using the old formulation. So again, the, Inventec, the company that's been selling this stuff, did a switcheroo. They started selling NC559 ASM as NC559 V2TF, to my knowledge, which had a different smell. This other company said, listen, we have this formulation. We are going to call it this, and we are going to sell it as that. And then Inventec, which was making the stuff that I've been buying, engaged in lawfare against them and, uh, you know, got them to stop. Now, they contacted me a while ago and said, you know, like, can we have some sort of partnership? Can we have some sort of working back and forth thing where you talk about this and you do that? And I just kind of stopped them midway of the conversation and I said, if you used to make product X and now you sell product Y as product X, there's really nothing I can do to help you. What I w if I were to try and help you here, I would actually destroy my own credibility. I wouldn't increase yours. So what I suggest you do is you figure out how to make product X again and start selling it rather than engaging in lawfare against this other company that is providing a market, uh, a market need. Like t I don't really know the entire detail of who owns the trademark and who owns the copyright. And I'll be honest, at the end of the day, I don't think most of you give a fuck. You were used to buying this and you were used to it smelling the way it's supposed to. Again, for me, Flux smell in the way it's supposed to means I don't smell it at all. But for all you weirdos that don't have fume extractors or even cheap fume extractors, uh, you know, they were used to buying what they were used to buying. They don't care about trademark. They don't care about copyright. They say, I'm used to buying this. I'm used to paying full price for it. I want the same thing. Um, they didn't do that. That was my suggestion a year ago. Uh, like six or eight months ago, I wind up getting a surprise $500 shipping charge on my order. And uh, like I kind of called them to ask about it, and they said, you know, like I, you know, I emailed, and then I finally called in, and they said, oh yeah, like you know, we you, we upgraded you to overnight because that was what was necessary for this order, and I go like, okay. You didn't tell me that it was going to be an additional. F See, like if I don't tell one of my customers that I'm going to be charging them five hundred dollars for shipping they're going to kill me because I need to get authorization from them before I bill them. I may make a difference in my order if I know that there's going to be a surprise $500 charge. Um, they, they, uh, they, they did not really uh, ever respond to this. And I never got a refund. Uh, they're like, you know, like six months later, they asked me about this. And it's like, are you, are you serious? You want me to, like, I have been buying shit from you for 10 years. 10 years, loyal, never a single return vial of customer service. You surprise bill me $500. After you ask for my help, you don't refund me. You keep, you keep like, I don't know, in my opinion, they're, a shit they're an absolute shit company. So my po point being, uh, we're, we are going to be stocking a different type of flux. It's actually a type of flux that's made by a friend of the channel. I don't want to do any spoilers right now, but you're going to see him on screen in a few weeks, and we're going to be doing some comparisons of his flux versus this stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, so this is probably going to be my last vial of Inventec Flux. I'm, never, I'm, I'm going out of my way to never buy from this company again. Uh, just because, like, I don't, again, I just don't find that lawfare thing to be, um, I don't like it. It's just not a good way to do business. Like, you should set, like, try, you know, if, if you stopped selling the product that you said you were selling, if you change the formulation of a product, in my opinion, when you change the formulation of that product, you should change the formulation of it, but simultaneously change the name. You just can't keep the same name with a different formulation. And particularly, if you're going to do that, you then cannot get salty and mad at somebody else that decides we are going to make the product that you used to make and we're actually going to call it what it is. It's just, I, in my opinion, that's, that's not exactly a great business practice. But you tell me what you think. And again, to be clear, to be clear, I am a little salty over that whole we're charging you a $500 surprise shipping fee and never refunded me. It's like, oh, like we can talk about this. And it's like, bro, you have my credit card number. Like, if you wanted to refund me, you would have done it six months ago. I'm, and like, it's just kind of, in my opinion, it's just kind of scumbag behavior. And like, I, I let them know as such. It's just, it's a shit thing to do that, uh, to somebody that you've been uh, doing business with for 10 years. Like, in my opinion, that's just a really, really shit way to do business. Like, if I surprise char, like, I get, it, you know, if you, like, they, the solder paste that I bought would have required nec uh, next day shipping. But if I'm buying, like, 400 to 800 flux and, like, 20 to 30 solder paste, like, really? Like, you, you should know, based on the price of this product, that that doesn't make it financially viable for resale. But more importantly, don't surprise bill people 500 bucks. It's just like, it's like, it's, it's base. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what to say there. It's like, I don't think any of my employees in a mill, like my, the most drunk anybody here would ever get. They would not in their wildest fucking dreams. Imagine that surprise billing people $500 is okay. So to be clear, there is a little bit of salt from that, but also just kind of seeing what they did to Amtec Direct. Just like, again, I was very clear with them. Like if you want to be seen as the good guy, go back to selling the old formulation, explain why it was difficult to make or sell, 
once you're done explaining it, then, you know, like, deal with that. Like, you're, you're, like me doing a video talking about your stuff is not going to fix it. Uh, I'm going to bring down my reputation rather than bringing up yours. Like, anyway, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of look around here, and I'm just going to kind of file away on each resistor. And we are going to fix this remote control because if I don't fix this remote control, the alternative is reading an instruction manual. And uh, yeah, I am like, again. It's it, like I, I was semi-joking before, but I'm really not. Like if you have ADD, uh, you know, again, mem autistically memorizing every net name in a 72-page schematic so you could recall it on demand to fix, you know, thousands and thousands of products is actually easier than reading an instruction manual and following the directions. Uh, I cannot tell you why. I cannot tell you why. You know, like maybe I'm missing a section of my brain or some shit. But I would, I, I don't, I, I just, I can't do instruction manuals. Like they, they, I, I just don't like them. I don't like them. They, they, you know, they never really answer the questions that I have. They always answer the questions that I don't have. They answer the shit I already know, and it's, it's very, it's highly frustrating to me. It makes me, uh, you know, it makes me rage. So, it makes me rage more than women that call men unsafe because they had to pay for their own panini if you know what I'm saying. So uh, this is going to... Yeah, so we're literally just going to flux everything. This is going to be my last video using any of this Inventex stuff. Um, after this, we're going to be trying out some surprise flux from a good friend of mine that's been working on a formulation. Actually, for a long time. He's been asking me to talk about this since er, like late 2022. It's just I was uh, busy having my uh, midlife crisis back then. And, uh, you know, like renting an apartment in the middle of bumfuck nowhere in New Hampshire to get out of New York City. But, you know, I think I've cured myself from the midlife crisis. I've cured myself, had some fun, tried some new shit, got a lot of new things on my, on my plate. And as a result, I will have time for this. So let's get started. Now, again, I really wish I had some more light here. Unfortunately, I don't, thanks to Mark Schaefer. That's iPad Rehab. Uh, I, that's iPad Rehab, They're getting jealous. You know, we have more YouTube subscribers than iPad Rehab. We have more... Uh, yeah, we have, you know, we're more notorious than iPad Rehab, and as a result of that, you know, they're going to they're gonna come here and they're going to try and sabotage my stream. That's what they want to do. They want to sabotage my stream. That's okay. You know, two people can play at that game, Jesse Jones. Two people can play at that game. I actually think I have a polarizer on here. I'm going to see if I can take this off because that's going to be what's fucking me up here. This is going to be what's kind of making my, uh, what's making this shittier microscope light that I have that's not as bright not show up as well. So let's see if I can get this thing off of here. Uh, whoa. Okay, so how do I get this damn polarizer off? Ay, yeah, yeah. It's kind of... Yeah, this thing is kind of stuck on there. Let's see. Do you want to spin? Come on. Ay, uh, hello. This is stuck. Huh. Damn. Interesting. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just not even going to care to have this thing on. I don't need that thing anyway. Okay, so we're going to have probably better... Actually, wait, no. I don't... I have nothing but the microscope light on now. Ah! Oh, vai, 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 vai. Wait, is this clip? This, this, this really does not seem like my old microscope adapter. Because uh, this is a polarizing filter that usually would come off. Keyword is usually. Usually. Very strange that this does not want to come off. Something's off here. But this is not off because this usually comes off. Right, so let's see. Come on, you piece of shit. Turn. Okay, so when you turn it, it literally does nothing. This is so weird to me. This is so foreign. Oh. F I got this shit trolled out of me by iPad Rehab. Let's see. Does this one want to come off? Huh? Here we go. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to switch this for the time being. And I will get back at Jessa Jones at iPad Rehab later. Actually, wait. This doesn't fit. You know what? Okay. I'm just going to... Wait. Oh, that, if that doesn't fit, then this is... Oh, you... My mic. Okay. So I'm really kind of... Am I, am I gonna tape this here? Is that what we're doing? I think I'm gonna tape this. I think that's what we're doing. Yeah, this is what we're doing at this point. I'm pretty much gonna tape this to you. Okay. This is, uh... Oh, man. 
I hope Mark Schaefer never needs a job reference from me. I hope Mark Schaefer never needs a character reference. I hope Mark never needs a... never needs a, a cute little kitty like Oreo to... to pet. Okay, I really... I'm, I'm literally this close to just bashing this thing and just like... I don't need a polarizer filter. Dangerously close to just bashing it. I can't get this thing out of there. Let's see. Come on. So see, like, usually you turn this, and after you turn it, this comes off. But here, this does not do anything when you turn it. Like, why? You're supposed to... Oh, God. Turn. Turn. You absolute monkey fucking piece of... I'm just gonna just get the. I'm literally just about to break this thing. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Rossman repaired that bitch. That's right. Fuck out of here. I got a flight to catch too. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Brute force is so rarely the answer. Bro, I ain't got no patience for this shit. I got a flight to catch. I got a fucking flight to catch. I only have a very limited amount of time to finish this. I want my remote to work for my vibrating bed. I have a great interest in my bed vibrating um, before I get on my flight. After I get on my flight. After I land. Is that, how does this work? Anyway. Is my microphone on? All right. So, let's, let's, let's go back to this, all right? So, now I'm also my soldering iron used to sleep. This is another thing that doesn't happen when Mr. Mark Schaefer uses your desk. Be very careful. You know that guy? I forget it. Like it was was it Michael Gregory or somebody else? Uh, I, I met Michael Gregory at Progressive Music as an intern. He was a cool dude. There was some dude that did like the hide your wife, hide your whatever, and like this, you know, hide your desk from Mark Schaefer. I love Mark Schaefer. He's a good dude. God bless Mark Schaefer. But man, he like my desk got like. I mean, this is what like this is, what this is right near is karma. I did this to Milan when Milan worked for me. I did this to Paul when God knows I did this to Paul when Paul worked for me. And now I'm getting a taste of it myself, which is really what every employer deserves. Every employer that has fucked over his employees by doing, by, uh, you know, like, messing up their desks deserves exactly the treatment that I'm getting right now. This is karma. This is karma. Like, I deserve this. I deserve everything that I'm getting right now. This is all karma. Anyway, so we're going to go through every single joint on this. And here's the thing. What a lot of people are going to do in this type of situation, which you don't want to do, what, you're, what they usually do is they are going to... Let me zoom in a little bit, get a nice little focus over here, get some focus. What they're going to do is they are going to take the solder, put it on here, and then just do a blob. So you're putting a blob on top of your corrosion. That is not what you want to do. You do not want to put a blob on top of your corrosion. You want to file your nails. File your nails. I spoke to somebody from the Wall Street Journal. I forget her name. Great reporter, kind woman, beautiful reporter, lovely, uh, lovely work with every uh, every one of her articles. All of her articles are beautifully done. They're well researched. But she said that this is not like filing your nails. Amazing reporter. Really cares about accuracy. But here, she's wrong. It's like filing your nails. Don't touch this to your nails, by the way. That, if, if you touch the soldering iron to your body parts, that's on you, not Rossman Repair. But watch this. Here's what I mean when I say filing my nails. What you want to do is you want to have some flux there. And when you put, see, there should be some flux there to kind of suck up all the, you know, nasty stuff, but also make sure the flux flows. When you do this filing motion, all the junk, all the old, corroded, gross solder and all the junk inside of it is going to get sucked onto the iron. And then new solder is going to be put on that joint. So you, you don't want to be soldering on top of crap. You want to be getting rid of the crap. And this is something that's really going to take some practice. You're not going to understand it simply by me saying it or simply by me watching it. You're only going to understand once you do it. And once you do it, you'll get to enjoy it. Just like other things that you would do in a vibrating bed once the bed works. But 
Not that that's appropriate for this stream. Okay, so anyway, watch. See, like I, I have an abundance of flux and abundance of solder here, which is why I'm okay doing that. Without having all of this flux, I would not be able to continue adding solder like that because if I was continuously adding solder like that, then it would get kind of nasty and clumpy and just kind of like a, you know, an old dry booger or something because solder needs flux to flow properly. So again, we're just kind of like filing the nails, filing the nails. And again, some of these components should be replaced, but I don't really have a schematic for this because this is a vibrating bed remote and, you know, who the fuck? <laughs> this is really a YOLO. This is very much so a YOLO before I get on a plane. Uh, don't, uh, yeah, it's just, just, it, it, just trust me, this is a don't ask, don't tell thing. But also I gotta find my tweezers. Where did Mark put my, Mark, where'd you put my tweezers? Mark. I'm, I'm, so I've, I've kind of turned Mark into the, into the scapegoat for everything wrong with my desk, which is pretty much a clusterfuck before he actually showed up here. My desk is actually neater. That, that's, that's the ultimate meme here, is that my desk is actually neater than it was when Mark was here. So this capacitor has some corrosion at the top, so this is really kind of a Hail Mary. And you know, again, like, if this were for a customer repair, I would be grabbing a new capacitor. If this was for a customer repair, I'd also probably have a fucking clue what it is because I'd have a schematic and I could look it up and all that good stuff. Um, again, this, this is a vibrating bed remote, so you get what you get. That's really uh, not, not much, you know, you get what you get. There's really no other way to put it. Uh, that is my alarm telling me that I should be leaving so that I can catch my flight. So I'm just going to turn that off and then snooze it and then pretend that I am not late for my uh, flight because I'm trying to fix a vibrating bed remote. So one moment here. We're just going to ZZZ over there and go back to this and go back to this. Okay, so next. All right. We're just going to go through every solder joint here. Now, again, you can kind of see when the flux runs out how it... See, see that when I do this? You see how you get with that little Hershey's Kiss looking like thing? Like when I do this? Uh, like, okay, you see how that kind of... It's not really round anymore. It kind of has like... Uh, it it kind of looks like a very, very pathetic erection over there. Like that, that little Hershey's Kiss-like thing slash pathetic erection, whatever you want to call it. Um, the latter is something I'm much more familiar with, is that's going to be, um, that, that's going to be what happens when you don't have flux. So when you do this, watch this, you got some flux over there, um, and then you do this, you see how it just becomes more round instead of being like a, like a, you know, you see, you see, that, that is what happens when you use flux, and that's why you should use as much flux as possible as long as it didn't come from Inventec. Anyway. So back to this, we're just going to kind of go up and down over here. Now you can see that this, this looks like over here, this looks like the, the, something burned within the actual chip itself, which means that there's a very good chance that I'm completely and hopelessly fucked. But again, we're not going to know until this is done. And I am going to try and give this as much hope as humanly possible. We're going to get as much of this green crap as, as I can off of here. And uh, that's after I get all the green crap off of here, I'm going to do my best to see if the remote works in the end. So let's, again, I got a lot of ground to cover here, and I have not done this work in a long time, so I am out of practice. Everybody say hello to Sonny in the chat. Sonny, my, uh, what did, uh, my, I thought of you when I was, did that uh, squatting video yesterday based on some of your landlord tenant experiences in New York City. One of my favorite laughs is when people say that real estate is a passive investment. Okay, this resistor looks like it's destroyed. However, however, to be clear, even though it's missing a lot, and I would not typically reuse that for a customer, when I scratch and scrape it again, once I scratch and scrape it, then uh, I'm much better off, and I have something that I can kind of make a connection to and not feel horrible about. Again, if this was for a customer, that would be bad, but it's not for a customer. It's for, uh, yeah, anyway. So, uh, like, this is not good. This is really just, you know, we're, we're going to do our best, though. And it's kind of filing your nails, filing your nails. Hello, MB is Frenchie. I just mentioned New York landlords. I believe that your, your ears were ringing right there. Teresa, how are you doing? I haven't talked to you for a while. Uh, you used to be in mod chat, and I, that, I guess, who am I kidding? Not you used to be in mod chat. I used to actually look at Discord before I lost my mind. Um, and now I don't. Yeah, I guess I do. I look at the letters channel from time to time. Uh, anyway, I don't look at the stuff that, a lot of the other stuff that I probably should take a look at. Someday, I suppose, someday. When I get my sanity back. When? If? If ever? One way to find out. Okay, we do this. Watch this. I've taken a couple of steps to get my sanity back recently. I don't think people are going to appreciate it. 
I have tried to do my best to make sure that the things I do to get my sanity back are things that are done in a sustainable way, everybody's treated fairly, a little bit of transitions. Nothing wrong with a little transitioning, unless you're in the wrong part of Texas. But in all, see, yeah, just a couple of life transitions, a couple of paradigm transitions. And a little bit of change for every now and then could really do you well. Yeah, this one over here, as you can see, is really juked. This is bad. That is, that is messed up. Okay. Yeah, like a lot of these are messed up. And again, at some point, I have that big solder ball, and I'm using a lot of flux, but at some point, that big solder ball is going to kind of get filled with junk, and that's why I just clean it off. I don't like using a sponge. I like using that, uh, the, 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 the shit that looks like a giant gold Brillo pad, a copper Brillo pad. This also, this is, yeah, that resistor is not really well connected. I'm going to get that with hot air later because I'm going to want to heat that area anyway. You know, we're just kind of filing the nails here, filing the nails. Filing the nails, filing the nails. Come on, file the nails. Yes. All I need is a small trace, just a trace, just a crumb. Just a crumb of the solder joint. Just a tiny crumb. That's all we need. That's all we need to get what we're looking for here. Uh, it doesn't... I've been kind of AWOL for a while because I was losing my shit. You know, Teresa, I completely feel you there. I think that I, j like, I burnt out beyond burning out. Like, the, I think, you know, the, okay, they had the end of 2018 with, like, uh, you know, the CBC news piece and all that shit, and, uh, like, I was staying at work with a 103 fever until 3 or 4 in the morning to get everything done. The move, after the move, all the COVID bullshit, after all the COVID bullshit and the riot bullshit. Then it was the, you move to a space that's $8,000 a month more than your old space, right? As Apple is kind of winning the war and getting able to get parts bullshit. Then the moving across the country thing. And I, uh, that was after, like, actually, that was, that was like burnout two and three. Burnout one was supply company failing in 2011. Yeah, I know. So what was your burnout, Teresa? You don't have to say if you don't want to. You can always maybe go in private or just leave it to yourself. But I, I don't want you to think that you're the only one losing your shit. I'm sure that a lot of people over the last five years have just kind of had many, many reasons to have a lot of life stress that they were not able to handle as well as they wanted. You're not the only one. Even famous people can fuck up there and have a life stress they don't necessarily handle as well as they want. You know, there's always change, there's always new challenges, new circumstances, and it's, you know, it's not always easy to deal with them as, as nicely as you'd like. Oh, there were a bunch of other ones that I didn't deal with as nicely as I'd like that I didn't even mention here. I think the moment that I went full schizo is when I, did, when I rented an apartment in a New Hampshire town of 300 people next to a mountain. It was like $900 or something like that. It was very nice. Absolute middle of nowhere and I just kind of visit randomly before I uh, came to Texas. That was a really fun part of my life. You know, like, it, that was very much so necessary. Like I literally didn't care where it was. I remember saying if I don't do this by the end of the year, I'm not going to do it. So I just set an arbitrary date. And then when it was too close to the arbitrary, 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 I forgot how to talk, arbitrary date, I literally just drove off into the middle of nowhere and I said, the first for rent sign I see, I don't care what the fuck it is, I am taking it. And I found this little shithole uh, in a very, very like nice, quaint little town next to a beautiful lake and an even more beautiful uh, set of mountains. And yeah, I took it. Anyway, that was a fun experience. Like after 31, 32 years in New York, like I badly needed that. Like, just feel what it's like to live in the absolute middle of nowhere. It was also useful because that was while I was in the middle of the... Oh, that's another fun thing to get burned out on. New York uh, State thinking that you owe them $1.2 million when you actually owe them like 500 bucks. Yeah, I mean, gotta love that one. Your error rate is 50%. Correction, your error rate is actually 0.1%. Oh, that was a good one, yeah. Thinking that you're gonna owe hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of dollars more than your entire net worth and your business combined because of somebody else making an error and in interpreting the law. Oh man, that's a state I'm happy to not be in anymore. Anyway, yeah, I had a ton of... Anyway, I'm, I'm curious what, what, what burned you out, but you don't gotta tell me if you don't want it. A greedy landlord, you said. Oh, that's tough. Live in the mountains now, too. I'll send you a picture of the view from my nearest shopping center. That's cool. Yeah, I'm sorry that you had a landlord burn you out, you know? At the, you know, listen, it's, it's better, I think, in my opinion, it's better at least when you get burned out on your own pursuits. Like, for me, at the very least, I didn't, I, a lot of it was, you know, I was pursuing this type of stuff. I was pursuing, oh, the other thing was the, all the lobbying shit. I mean, you know, I have to wait until it's, it's funny, because it's, it's one of these things where you want to jump off a bridge when it happens and, like, enough time passes and it's funny. 
Uh, yeah, something re- happened with that in the mid 2000 to 2021. I guess I'll, I'll probably wait until 2030 when it's funny. That was a big stressor for me, like a giant stressor actually. But uh, yeah, some fun stuff. But yeah, my point is, it's kind of you know you can deal with all the stressors of everything when you have when you know that it's it's for something you're building. Like when it's just a landlord dispute, that sucks. Like at least for me, all these stresses that I had is like, you know, I'm trying to build a business, I'm trying to build a nonprofit, trying to get laws passed, trying to like grow a YouTube channel. Like there's all these things that I was doing, you know, to try to move things forward. But I was moving things forward for me. Like when you have a landlord dispute, you're literally just like wasting your time to try to get your air conditioning turned on. And it's just, or your heat turned on, your gas turned on, and or have hot water. And that that's really just annoying. I'm sorry I had to go through that. The tax video? Uh, I, I think I did the tax video for audit one or two a year ago, Sonny, about the New York State tax audit, where you could see what my actual error rate is versus what they were originally asking for. Um, uh, the, the video on the, on the lobbying thing, that, that's uh, got to wait for, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's got to wait for until it's, it's old enough to be funny. Unfortunately, it's still new enough to just be, like, miserably traumatic. But that will change, that will change. Eventually, that will change. All right, again, we're just filing the nails. And for those in the chat that may think, this is not proper shoddering technique, you're probably right, because I have my alarm going off again, because i got to get to the airport, and this is, this is a bodge. This is, this is a total bodge. There's, there's no excuse for this. There's no excuse for this. This is... We are going to... Okay. I said something stupid by, huh? The error rate was when stuff was coming out. Okay. Just grab. Okay, again, we have a lot of flux. Some filing. I'm literally trying to hit every single connection on this thing, and then we're just at once I've gotten every connection, I can clean it in the UC, and then see if this works as a remote again. No, I don't think I, that lobbying thing I haven't mentioned. If you're like one of my best friends, I've mentioned it to you. Otherwise, best friend or therapist. Anybody else? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, yeah, stare not. What is what, what is that Nietzsche saying? Stare not into the abyss. Lest the abyss stare back at you or something. Don't miss your flight. Oh, uh, you know, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I got some... I'm not that far from the airport. I think I'm good. My shop's not that far from the airport. Okay, come on. Come on. Almost there, bro. Almost there. Almost there. Every connection. Either every connection or none. We are all one or all none. What is it it says on the side of the Bronner soap bottles? By the way, there's an application. I usually don't show shit like this. There's an app, and This is unpaid. Uh, there's an application called Yuka. It's free. You can use it on your... Uh, Android or iPhone, you can scan shit at the store and see how much garbage is in it. One of the things you'll notice is that all this stuff that like markets itself as like organic and natural actually winds up having the most fucked up shit in it. But Bronner's, Dr. Bronner's doesn't. Dr. Bronner's is, is uh, you know, he, he's an original. Like he is just pure schizo, but in the best possible way. Like, you know, he, uh, he tries to make sure that the highest paid people at his company don't make more than four or five more than like the lowest paid people. He gives a shit about giving to charity. They make good products. Almost everything they make is a Yucca score of 90 or higher. Yucca is essentially how much garbage uh, in our, how much garbage that could potentially harm me or is that not good for me is in whatever I'm eating. You can measure like anything from you know like you can measure anything from bacon to cereal to soap. Anyway, Dr. Bronner's on his all of his soap bottles. It says we are all one or all none. He uh, he he goes over the moral ABC and the all one faith. So yes, what I'm doing over here is uh, kind of in Dr. Bronner's honor. I am not going to go over one component without going all of them because we are all one or all none. That is it. But you really should look at his soap bottle labels. They're like, and also kudos to his family for keeping on the you know the company tradition because I think he he died in uh, 1997. It probably would have been really easy to sell his name to some venture capital fuckface who winds up just turning it into like a cheap version of some Procter and Gamble bullshit. And they didn't do that. They kept his legacy alive, and that's cool. Like, if I'm giving away what, or leaving what I have to somebody, I would want to only do that to people that I know for a, beyond a shadow of a doubt will keep my legacy intact. That is... Okay, this is going to be difficult because this is a QFN, but I'm going to really get in there with this T30-KN soldering tip. There should be a link down below if I'm 
even remotely uh, an influencer, half worth a shit. The T30KN tip for the Hakko FM 2032 iron. The thing is, a lot of this is not even skill, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's all doing all the experimentation to find the irons that work for you and also to find the tips. You can have a really good iron, even if it's a really good iron, if it doesn't come with a tip set that allows you to do your job well, then you may wind up not doing a job as ideally as you otherwise could. I think I just stabbed my board because I'm in a hurry, fuck my life. There's also hair in there, but fuck it, it's, gonna, it's, it's a fucking remote for a bed, I don't give a shit. Anyway, it's, okay, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Good. Uh, all one or all none, remember. We cannot go to the airport until every single thing on this board has been filed. We are all one or all none. All one or all none. In honor of Dr. Brana. Okay. Let's see. That's a brand I would actually sponsor. Because, like, you could score 90 something, every single product. Like, like, every single product they have, like, has an insanely high Yuka score. They, it's not bad for you. Okay, like, the shaving cream kind of, kind of sucks balls. But, like, the, most of their products are really good. The, sp the soap especially. You get the almond soap or the mint soap. I mean, you're never going to want to use another soap again. Because most soaps, they have all this artificial bullshit to make you think that it's sudsing, so that you, you associate the sudsing with clean, but it fades away so quickly. And when you use the Bronner shit, it's like, you don't, really, you don't get any suds, but you feel more clean. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just... You feel like it, 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 it's a film and like it, it, it cleans you and it really gets rid of all the garbage and it's not like it fades away immediately like some Procter & Gamble shit. It just, it fucks. It, like, it just completely gets rid of everything. It's very cool. It's expensive though. But like, that's, you know, those are the type of companies that would be cool to sponsor. Stuff that actually make good shit. Dr. B, all one or all none. Yes, sir, Trooper Will. See, that I understand. What I don't understand is the moral ABC. I see that mentioned a lot on the bottle, and I've, I've tried to figure out what the moral ABC is, and I have no idea. And it makes me wonder if he actually has any idea. There's a very good chance that he doesn't. I, there's, there's a chance. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't actually know what he means when he says that shit. And unfortunately, since he's gone, I'm never going to be able to ask him. That's unfortunate. I would check out Dr. Bronner's soap. That's some good shit. Okay, so what? He also has some skin creams that are exceptionally awesome. I like the lime one in particular. The lavender one, I think, actually has a higher yucca score than the lime one, the mint one, and the orange. Oh, the orange one. That's a good one, too. I like the lime one and the orange one. But if you want something with a like, mildly higher yucca score, you, you want to get the lavender one. All right, see, see what I'm doing with this cap? Realistically speaking, the side of it is okay, so I should be done, but I'm also filing the top of it off because I want, uh, I want that to be good. Now, granted, there is a little bit of a balance here because if you heat a component too much or you keep heating it over and over, you may cause it to fail. Like, you know, and somebody who's IPC certified is gonna... We can no longer hear Lewis. Yes, that is because uh, I'm using a very, very shitty old Quadro GPU for this. Not like a good Quadro, like a piece of shit Quadro. This is not my main streaming computer. Uh, this is a piece of junk that I have over here. This is, uh... Like, th this computer is like a 2010 Android phone of streaming devices. So, uh, I, th I think I got almost everything. Anyway, uh, yeah, Big Soap is angry. They're, they're fucking up my stream. Yes, yeah, so let's blame Procter & Gamble. Let's blame Procter & Gamble. Okay, so we're gonna... And just keep going here. I know, I, you know, if I did this in a more systematic way, it would have been easier to keep track of what I already did and what I did not. But I didn't do that, so I kind of have to live with a little bit of uncertainty here. That's unfortunate. His internet said don't miss your flight for a vibrating bed remote. Teresa, priorities. I'm just saying, priorities. We all have our different priorities for different reasons based on where we are in our life. At this point in my life, Teresa, this is a priority, you know what I'm saying? So this, we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work. This is going to be awesome. The thing is, I'm not actually going to be able to test this for a while. Um, maybe that should be what I turn this channel into. What if, hypothetically speaking, just hear me out here. Hear me out. What if... As I cannot buy parts to do MacBook repair anymore, and Apple wins, I just turn this into a sex toy repair channel. Like, just for, just for the lulls, just for the kicks. Like, this, you know, my, I've spent my entire life 
trying to be an economically viable repairman. Let me focus on the specific repairs that have the highest profit margin based on everybody else doing the bullshit way by replacing the whole assembly or the whole board when I can just replace a chip or something. What if I just like spent all my time refurbishing things that cost two to four dollars? Wouldn't it be funny if like the path to becoming a 10 millionaire and like, you know, 100 million subscribers on YouTube is not providing repair information that matters, but just fixing sex toys? The thought has crossed my mind from time to time, I'll be honest with you. Or like fixing sex toys in a time crunch. This is, I said I was going to go over that with hot air later. God damn you, you freaking alarm. I know, I know, I know. Are you helping me? Are you helping me? Exactly. You f I fix a mother... Piece of shit. Okay. Let's go back to this. Did I miss anything? That's really what I care about at this point. Is there any piece that I think I didn't get? Alright, so this- oh, I just got a bunch of flux in my hand. I should have worn gloves for this. So that's some green shit, but as long as the solder on the legs is good, I'm good. And again, anything in between, I've already kind of burned that stuff off with the solder on the flux. But more importantly, when I throw that in the ultrasonic cleaner, any of that stuff is just coming off. Okay. The ultrasonic should be warm by now. I'll be ready- oh god, this resistor is horrible. Let's see, can we save it? I'm going to try to save it. Lots of flux. Yeah, yeah, okay, again. Uh, we, you don't want to put solder on top of broken solder. You want to get rid of it. That's why we're doing this motion. Adding... Got it. Got it. Dun 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 dun. That looks like shit, but my flight's about to go. Ah, fuck, I forgot this area. Okay. Oh, one area. Almost one. Almost done. Almost done. Okay, let's, let's do this. Okay. Oh, don't shake on me. Don't sh Come on, man. Okay, let's see. Oh, put something on top of it so it doesn't shake. Okay. The bo okay, now the flux is kind of dry and icky now. Oh god, icky. I'm using the vocabulary of people that don't, that feel unsafe if somebody doesn't pay for their panini. Okay, get uh, those down there look good. This one is corroded to shit, but I have to turn the board around and I don't got time for that because my flight's about to leave. Come on, come on. Come on, you fucking piece of shit. <sighs> Again, you, you like that looks like it's off, and you'd be right. I'm gonna hot air that shit into place in just a moment. You'll see. This is a lot. Hot air is gonna make all that stuff fall into place, which is fine by me. Worst case scenario, this doesn't work. I have to learn how to read an instruction manual. Actually, that is really a worst case scenario. I hope to God that that doesn't happen. I can't, I don't want to learn how to read. I never learned how to read. I went to a New York City public school. Uh. Huh? Oh, sh oh, no, no, no. Oh, God damn it. Get the, get off of my eye. Oh, mother. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Okay, I got it off. Something like that. Paul, I put it through the damn laundry. I put this thing through the laundry. Can you imagine? You know how stupid I feel? I am melting grass on this RNI. Oh man, what am I doing? What the actual fuck is that? 
Why do you look like grass? And what the fuck are you doing on my remote? That thing's gonna ring again, isn't it? Also, how you doing, Paul? Sorry I didn't get back to you with dates. I have a lot of life changes going on right now, so I can't really tell you any specifics. And I'm doing my best to manage all of them in a way that's fair to people. But I don't have a... I don't really have a lot in terms of a set schedule right now. Oh, God, I, I'm, I keep missing, like, one or two, and it, it just kills me that I keep missing one or two resistors that I thought I already did. Really got to have a systematic uh, way of doing this for next time. You know, next time I put a device that's worth $4 into a washing machine and don't have the patience to read the manual. I'm telling you, it's actually cheap. It's, it's easier for me to do this than it is to read the damn manual and figure out a sink or pair it. Why would I do that when I could do this? Okay. Manopause, says JT. That's a good one. Oh, shit. Okay, that, that probably is missing something on the bottom. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, in a MacBook environment, I would literally be replacing every single one of these. Like, fuck this filing shit. It's not, like, especially, th this is kind of like lazy filing right now. Like, I'm not even... You, 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 what you should do is add this, add a ton of flux, hold that down with tweezers so it doesn't move. Now, like, this is the proper thing to do. This is what you do if you're not, like, afraid you're going to miss your flight. What you do is you add a bunch of flux. Now that you have a bunch of flux, you, again, you don't have two hands because you need to use one hand for the tweezer. So you add a lot of the solder on here. Once the flux burns away, it would usually give a shit connection. However, this... hold you down. Now when I'm holding the resistor down, I can file a little harder and make sure that I got rid of more of the corroded shit. Um, that's, you know, your mileage may vary. It's all good. Just had a few minutes free and wanted to watch some soldering. Looking to go to all day. Grandma's and didn't be in the hospital. Yeah, honestly, as, as sad as I am to, with the hospital thing that you're talking about, I'm very happy that she has family members that are essentially standing by her side that have known her for like 50 years. Like that is... The marriage that they have, those two have, is absolutely amazing, and it's something that a lot of people think today is impossible, but like, they should look at that and realize that that's something to strive for. These are test probes. I just got a ultrasonic that, and it'll be good. Okay, I'm just going to do a, a, a quick overview without having the, the microscope, because well, I don't need that for this quick overview, and just see if there's any part that I missed. At this point, I believe that I got everything, so now we're just going to go over with some hot air. Obviously, we're not going to use the same level of hot air that I'd use in a MacBook, because that'll destroy this thing. A uh, MacBook is a, you know, like, 5 or 10 layer PCB with a bunch of big BGA chips on it and large ground planes, and this is a fucking remote control, so... We do not need to use anywhere near the same amount of heat, so we are going to lower that. Again, using MacBook heat on an iPhone is bad for the iPhone. Using iPhone heat on a remote, bad for the remote. So just be, you know, understand your environment, understand where you are before you uh, destroy things. So, okay, so I'm just going to do is I'm just going to kind of roll the board around a little. Now, you know, again, this is a board that's going to heat up really fast. So once the board is actually warm, it's not going to take much time at all for me to reflow anything. It's just going to reflow immediately. Especially once the board, and again, the other reason is if there's anything on the other side of the board, I don't want it falling off because this got too hot. Like, and on a MacBook, you re- oh, fuck. I just, I forgot that that was a remote button. Ugh. Oh, that was, oh, wait, those are the buttons to sync it. I'm allowed to break those buttons because I don't plan on ever using the manual to sync it. Okay, cool. So, you know, I just kind of fucked up my own remote there by breaking some, you know, I burned some of the buttons, but that's okay. That, that, I'm not a remote repairman. I'm a MacBook repairman. That's okay. I did not notice that. That is called being in a hurry because you want to get on an airplane. Okay, so let's do the bottom. Those two buttons are the buttons that I would use if I was a person who reads the manual. Sync and pair. I don't use those buttons because this one's already synced and paired. I would use those buttons on a new remote if I had to sync and pair it. But I will never have to sync and pair this one. This is already synced and paired to my bed. All right. Again, like anything that I missed, any component that's like not perfectly soldered on its pads, you will see that once this is done, oh, look at how that flows into place. That's gorgeous. But again, you don't want to stay too long. You don't want to put things through too many heat cycles. You just kind of want to make sure things flow into place the way they're supposed to be. Everything in its right place, as uh, Tom York would say. And you don't want to reflow things too much. You don't want to burn the buttons more than you've already burned them by being a moron. Don't be a Lewis. 
You want to be a smart repairman, not a dumbass. Anyway, we're going to do this. I know that that alarm is going to go off again. I have a feeling it's like any time in the next five seconds that I'm going to hear that shit again and I'm going to scream. Mother... One sec, I gotta turn that shit off. I've come to hate that noise. This is why I should get TSA pre-check. Okay. Now, here's the thing. While the board is still hot, I'm gonna toss this shit in the ultrasonic cleaner so I waste the minimal amount of time. Yeah, minimal, not maximal, right? Okay, on the other side, it doesn't look like anything's really corroded. Although, oh, God, this thing's steaming. Ugh. I'm going to toss this in the cleaner. The cleaner is 61 Celsius. Perfect, because you're supposed to use the Branson EC at 50 to 60 Celsius. So it would heat it up just in time. So I'm going to put this nasty-ass board in here. And the other important thing to do it while the board is still hot, when the board is hot, the flux is going to be more, um, how do I put this? It's going to be more water-like, whereas as the flux gets colder, it's going to be more, uh, you know, like a giant mucusy booger. And when it's like a mucusy booger, the ultrasonic cleaner will not get it off the board. But if the flux is all still very warm, it's going to come off the board very easily. It's not going to be like gooked cum. It's going to be like water. And you want to avoid your flux being like gooked cum. So I'm going to ultrasonic that. Then we're going to spray it off with some alcohol. Put a new set of AAA batteries in there and see if we're good. The worst case scenario, in my opinion, would be if one of those chips with them. See, essentially, anytime you see a lot of corrosion, that's not usually a signal, that's a power rail. Because a signal uses a really tiny bit of voltage. Especially if we're talking about like a pull-up uh, pull resistor or something like that. That's not going to use a lot. Uh, but what's going to use a lot is like a main power line going into a chip. So if a main power line going into a chip that's not supposed to short to something else did short to something else, then we're in a situation where like five volts went to three volts or like this is this. Oh God, one sec. There's something in my shoe. Like five volts went to a section that's usually used to, yeah, like five volts went to a section that's usually a signal that maxes out at 1.8 or something like that. Then you can be massively screwed. And then there's, there's not really much you're going to be doing there other than replacing the chip, which again, at that point, uh, we w I would consider it game over because like I, yeah, I'm not finding, uh, I don't think I'm going to find any of the power I see is on a remote control or the control I see is for remote control in the vending machine at the airport. Maybe though, maybe, you never know. They do sell electronics at the airport, so it is possible, not probable, but possible that I could go to the airport, get something out of, no, 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 no. You know, that is a thing. Like one of the chips that I used to need was the ISL 9240. And uh, one of the ways that you could get an ISL 9240 is you could buy an iPhone 10R battery charging case. And when you get the iPhone 10R battery charging case, you can, yeah, actually, I might as well show you the ultrasound. Actually, no, then you'll see Greg's desk and that'll, we, we can't have that on stream. Uh, the, you'll, uh, once you get the iPhone 10R charging case, then you can, uh, you can take all, out the ISL 9240. So like, again, you used to be able to buy a chip for a dollar or two dollars. Now you can kind of find them online, but I remember back in the early days, the only way that you were getting that is buying an ISL 9, buying an iPhone 10 or $100 or $120 charging case. I'm not kidding. And after you buy that expensive piece of shit, uh, you would have to take out the one chip, reball the chip, and then you'd have a battery that you have to throw away. Yeah, because Apple cares about the environment. My balls, bro. Okay, so we're gonna, the other side I'm not gonna use see as much because I didn't actually put anything on the other side. I didn't really do any side. of alcohol. Once you spray it with some alcohol, I'm going to try to air dry it as much as I can because I want to get the fuck out of here so I don't miss my flight. And then we go. I got my two batteries here. I took them out of my Zoom. I carry this so that I can use this DPA microphone with my phone, my smartphone portably. So I use my Shure uh, SE425s that I got used along with this DPA. I have another DPA mic and I can actually use this for phone calls if I use the Zoom interface with my smartphone. I, I can plug this into my smartphone with a dongle. Anyway, I don't have a set of AAA batteries, so what I figured I would do is I would just take it out of my Zoom. Uh, I carry this thing everywhere I go. I love my little Zoom. My Zoom H1N. That's a good product right there. 
I forget why it is I dislike the Tascam ones. I think I did a video on this a while ago. I don't remember what it is about the Tascam ones that I found so offensive. But there was something about it that I found so fundamentally offensive, I just could never use it again. I don't remember what it is. I don't exactly remember what it is, but it was something horrible. You know, like, it, I had a good reason for it. I'll remember it at some point. I think it was something to do with mom. I don't know. It, it's, it's like a four-year-old video. Okay. Okay, this should be good. Now we're going to spray it with alcohol. And dry this thing. Should heat the oven a little bit, but I don't know, what are you going to do? What you gonna do? I think this would be better if air dried, honestly. Okay, so first we dip it in the alcohol bath, which admittedly has some junk from prior washes. And then after that, I have a spray bottle with 99% alcohol. Nothing else, just 99% alcohol. This is uh, just to displace the water. Because 99% out, you, you don't want any water on the board because then stuff will corrode. And the way you get rid of it is by spraying it with this shit because there's not going to be any water on the board after you've soaked it in 99% uh, alcohol everywhere. And this, you have this spray bottle that really lets you get all the way under and inside everything. Pause. And uh, then close the cleaner. I just got that on my finger, so I'm going to... Wash that off before I dry out my skin completely. And, you know, while I'm doing that, might as well put this shit in the oven. Just for a minute. Uh, so I might as well turn the air compressor on, because I'm going to use that to dry this thing manually. I'm going to blow out your eardrums. That's the kind of considerate person I am. Oh, wow, they added a bu- what the? They added a bunch of interesting stuff here. I didn't even realize this. Oh, damn. Okay, what is the, where's my switch? There we go. A little bit of hearing loss never hurt anyone. Okay, so. I'm gonna Don't worry, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Just gotta. One sec, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay, time to blow out your eardrums again and see if I have a fixed board. <clears throat> huh? okay, oh yeah. okay, I'm going to tell you when to mute and if you don't mute when I tell you to mute and you say that you're deaf, you're a dumbass. All right, you got three seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna give you another five seconds. Five, mute, you better lower your volume. If you don't lower your volume, you're a fucking idiot. Five, four, three. I can't read that bro, I'm in the other room. Two, one. Oh man, somebody broke the air compressor handle. What the fuck? One moment. Who the fuck broke the air compressor handle? You. Piece of shit. Who would do that? Oh my god, what a moron. Let's see, where does this thing go around? One moment, somebody broke my freaking air compressor handle. Wow, how'd you do that? Oh, that is so lame. 
You, okay, let's see. Can I kind of kludge it a little bit? I'm going to kludge it a little bit. What am I? This, this has no BGA components. That's good enough. No BGA. Um, there's, no, there's nothing that where I have to worry about anything being under a chip, so this is good enough for rock and roll. Shut up, phone. That phone doesn't want me to have any fun today. It truly has no respect for my social life. Shh. Okay. I know, phone. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Okay. How do you put this thing back together? Firstly, turn off my iron. How do I put this piece of shit back together? How do I this Humpty Dumpty go back together? Come on. All right. Let's see. How's... Forget how, to, how do you put a remote back together? Uh, yeah, I got some goddamn flux in my hand again. Mother, for one sec. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and get something to clean my desk with because I used way too much flux on this. If you couldn't tell, I'm nothing if not eager to get rid of my last tube of Inventec. I will free myself of Inventec shortly. Free myself of the beast. And then I will use. Uh, a flux that is to be determined. And I don't know if I should tell you yet what the flux is that I'm using. I think I'll, I think I'm gonna keep it a surprise. This has been a long time in the works. You've actually probably used some of his products already. You just don't know that you have. I wish I could give you more detail, but I can't. I wish I could give you more detail. Unfortunately, now is not the time for that. Okay, so even though these AAA batteries are already kind of charged since I've used them a little bit, I mean, they were working in my Zoom. I just I charged a little bit more just for the hell of it. Okay, so what was I saying? Uh, next is clean the freaking desk. So I don't have a spray bottle on me, so I'm going to grab one from the shipping guy. But I have to remember to bring it back. Shipping guy deserves his... He deserves this bag. I'm probably going to forget to give this back. Okay, hope I don't. Anyway, so we have remote. Oh shit, the buttons fell out. Oh god damn. Oh, these are the buttons I don't care about. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Do I, these are the ones I don't give a shit about, right? Uh, okay, this is sync and pay. Oh, fuck this. These are the ones that I burned anyway. Linus Tech Tips to get to make flux for you. Not Linus, no. Uh, not, not Linus. Okay, so this goes here. This goes here. Okay, beautiful. Next up is... Is... This... Oh, I don't even know which way this goes in. Pause. Uh, like, what do I... <laughs> I forgot how to fucking... I, le I legit forgot how to use a brain. Okay, so this is gonna go here. Yes. Clickety, clickety. Yes, okay. Yes. Oh, yes, okay. Next. You... Oh, shit, motherfucker. No, 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 no. You go here. Thank you, Paul. Okay, this goes here, and then this is gonna go here. You know what? What if I do it like this so gravity works in my favor, huh? Huh? Okay, like this maybe? Uh oh. Uh oh, one of my buttons came out. That's fine. Huh? 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 Oh, that's a beautiful sound. I gotta say, you know, there's a lot of shit I don't miss about fixing Apple products, but the sound of a good snap back to when something snaps back together and none of the clips break and it just naturally absorbs itself into place rather than being like a bullshit fucking ass bezel on an A1237 or A1304 MacBook Air, that's good. You know, it's kind of weird to know that I started doing this, like I am talking about models of computer that, were, that I was fixing before some of my viewers were born. It's very weird to like actually... Uh, you know, like to, to, to realize that. Like some of you watching, that, that, okay, so let's see. Does this work? Does this work? Okay. 
do any of the buttons on this piece of shit work? So these batteries I know are good. Uh, the other thing is I don't know if this remote actually requires to be near the bed for any of these buttons to work. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like this might be a fail. It looks like I may have to actually do some real repair, that this may not be enough. It's possible that this is not enough on its own. Um, but yeah, this may actually need like somebody who's not a complete fucking idiot testing. Let's see, we have these two buttons, like pair, sync, all that shit. But I destroyed them, so they don't really press anymore. <laughs> okay, this was, this is kind of a boo re hot. Was it enough? Yeah, this actually requires brain. Okay, this was fun. I you know I, I couldn't sleep. I had a I had a I had a flight that I had to get to. I figured this would be a fun little thing to fuck with. But wait, did I even put this thing back together right? It doesn't snap in. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, this is. Okay, I've missed my alarm like six times, so I got to get the fuck out of here. You know, listen, here's the thing. The cock ring didn't work on the first try either, right? So why would I... If the cock ring didn't work on the first try, then why would I give up if this didn't work on the first try, you know? Uh, Vince, the thing that breaks on a remote is when you put it through the laundry. I know, this is kind of fun for old time's sake. This is a little, you know... This was fun for old time's sake, a little bit, kind of, sort of, maybe, maybe, nah. This is not, I guess, the additionalist, I appreciate it. God bless you for all your kind words over the years. To call this educational is a little bit of a stretch because this is, this is essentially how to do everything wrong. Yeah, this is... This is how to do everything wrong. So I guess, uh, let's see, when I look at this, what looks right, what looks wrong, what looks on, what looks off, looks good to me, except for, you know, the minor burning on those two buttons, but that should be fine. It's most likely like where you had the high level of corrosion up here that fucked it. And I don't have time to go through this and look at every little joint and shit. It could also be, honestly, you know, I feel like it's going to be something really stupid, like these. Yeah, I think it's, I honestly think it's going to be something really dumb related to, what is my thinking? <laughs> oh, related to the battery contacts not being in the right place or something. There's really one way to, yeah, let's see. You know what? Let me just, okay, without putting the other piece on, let's just do a little experiment here. So I'm going to push this over here. Oh, fuck those buttons. They can suck my dick. Uh, we're gonna... Uh, I think it may be that this is misaligned. That's probably what it is. I think that if I do this, I may actually fix my problem. So I have to pu push the remote up. Which one would be power and shit like that? Oh my god, it's lighting up. That's what it is. I just misaligned this. Let me just see. Wait, 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 I, I gotta, I, let me turn off the lights in the room. One sec. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I fixed the remote. I fixed the remote. I am a repairman again. I am a repairman again. Oh, hello. Check it out. All right. Woo. Okay, I really got to get the fuck out of here, though. Let's see. Okay, what did I do wrong before? Okay, you know what? Fuck these sync buttons. If I did this right, I will never have to sync this shit because I will never have to read the instructions again. I will never have to sync my remote to my, my vibrating bed thing because it is already good. Like, because I fixed my old one. Okay, so let's see. What did I do? I had to put this shit on here, and then I noticed it wasn't uh, lighting up. Was that it? It wasn't lighting up. Does that mean that this backlight layer is not aligned properly? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering, is it, okay, like obviously you have something going on here. These LEDs are lighting up. Uh, if I take out a battery, yeah, if I take out the battery, they stop. I put in the battery, they start. But I'm not getting any difference in anything. Hmm. Okay, maybe this was lighting up all along, actually. It's very likely that this was indeed lighting up all along. It's just not lighting up enough because it's still broken, and that's the the issue. Like, it should be lighting up enough that you can actually see shit on the buttons over here. 
And I don't think that's an issue of this being misaligned because this seems like, yeah, this is one piece. So the backlight layer, is, as well as everything else, is one piece on this. So this is, you know, that's not going to be it. Uh, so, hmm. And the fact that it, all the LEDs turn on at a steady state but not high leads me to believe that this is brain dead in some way, which is what I would expect from a stupid schizo repair with, like, no real, uh, real brain put into it at, you know, 5 or 6 in the morning while we... Fuck you, alarm clock. Okay, so this, also, you see this? Doesn't really want to close the way it used to before. That could be related, you know, there's a, yeah, 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 I kind of fucked this remote up. Uh, I kind of fucked this remote up. Let's see, maybe, maybe if I screw it together. <laughs> That's what this thing's going to be used for anyway, right? So, shut up, alarm clock. Shut up. I know, I know. You don't got to remind me, you piece of shit. Okay, yeah, this still doesn't really click together the way it did before, and that's... I gotta figure that part out. Anyway. I wonder what it does if it's actually in the presence of the bed itself. That's what I'm gonna check next, because for all I know, this is not broken. It just simply needs this to be, uh, realigned. I mean, it just needs, like, uh, this, this thing to be realigned so that the batteries line up right. So expect a part two once I have the ability to go over that. You know, part two is coming. <laughs> that, that's not a pun. And when part two comes, we will uh, let you know exactly what happened. All uh, right, one second. I just have to break the alarm clock in my phone. I, I need to break that thing. That is so obnoxious. Oh, my God. Anyway. Uh, sec, I have, to, so takes, I have some hate mail from New York City here that I have to take. Uh, I didn't realize. I, literally every day I have hate mail from New York State here. What the fuck do you guys want? Look at this shit. Like literally every day. Like I left years ago. Like what the fuck is this? Every like just just get the fuck. It's like every day it's something. Right? Literally every day it's something. Okay. Every day it's something. Okay. I'm out of here. I know alarm. I'm coming. Come on. Shush. Shush. I gotta clean my desk. You prick. Anyway, that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.